No Fugazi podcast. And this is another segment everybody be talking about. We talk about this all the time. Want to see exactly what you get your thoughts on. Mm, my bad. Get your thoughts on and everything like that. So I want to get y'all thoughts on these so-called females that are bosses. Do you care for it? Do you not like it? Do you like, do you want it? I'm not going to go as far as saying, do you need it? But yeah, because if you, at this point, if you sit up there and you say you need one, then that means you're not trying to put in no effort and work at all, you know? So we're not, you know, at that point, you just might as well, like, just be, be prepared to get ran over and get told what to do and all the other stuff and everything like that. So, yeah. But. Anywho, this is this um clip is basically talking about, you know, basically boss babes, little boss girls and everything like that. And my man Cooley is going to end up talking to one of them about it and everything like that. Once again, this is the No Fugazi podcast. And we're about to go ahead and get right into this right now. Let's get it. Do you think that because Americans have it, everything is so easy accessible, like Uber Eats, Ubers, and stuff like yeah. that, it's affecting yeah. relationships? Because now it's like, oh, well, instant I'm a gratification? Dude. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. a dude, and I don't need a woman because I can just Uber Eats if I'm hungry, or no. I can get over here. No, it's, or it's actually different. So, women. Think like, that. Say, don't don't think, think like that. Think. When, when men say, we don't think like that. Or get access. When men get access, we don't think of independence. Okay. When we get access to certain things like finances, more money, or just access in general, we think like we could create a family. It's women that have that mindset when they get more access and more rights and more freedom. Well, I don't need a man because what, what, what do I need you for? So on a flip side, what creates that is women in the workforce now, and we all seen it. Mm -hmm. Think about back in the 50s and before the 50s, women wasn't complaining at all. You know what I mean? Well, they had other reasons for complaints. The, the complaints was different. But mm -hmm. now the complaints is, oh, I don't, I don't need a man, you know, uh, this and this, and the reasons why they don't need a oh, man. Oh, yeah, 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 Compare, yeah, compared to um, back then, yeah. Men create, uh, created uh, uh, a good infrastructure in America that gave them access to more things like Uber Eats and, and uh, you know, hair, makeup, and all of this other stuff that you could easily get, the, all these beauty shops, just a multitude of things that women are into. I'm saying that men created these things and women are taking these things as they should, you know what I mean, taking them, but their view of it is like, uh, I it's don't need a different. Mm -hmm. So it kind of backfired on it men? It backfired. In a sense, okay. Well, with, with, in a I mean, way, uh, it backfired on them because I mean, like, if no, it did. Backfire well, I got backfire on the okay. men for. All right. I mean, yeah. creating everything. Did well, back fe feminism made it backfire. Because yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because the men over in different countries they weigh, uh, raise way differently than American men over oh, here. Oh here we they go. They actually talk about how the American men complain too much and they want us to work. While over there, they used to just leading and taking care of stuff. Yeah. How y'all? How do y'all feel about that? Since y'all want to talk y'all yeah. ish. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Say that again. Spectrum I'm sorry, I was reading shots. You said. Shit. You yeah. said what though? I'm sorry. I, I said I've heard foreigner men not understand why American men want women to like. Um, basically the whole 50 50 thing, like help them pay with the bills, and they're used to leading, taking eh. care of everything, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the traditional mean. man, and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, well, the reason why, uh, 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 the American man, a lot of the American men have this mindset to want to go 50 50 is because they were indoctrinated to have that mindset. Not only was it indoctrination, um, it was the fact that, uh, since the woman. Like, you got to think about it since the, they were indoctrinated to think that, but it's also, uh, I just lost my train of thought real quick. Hold up. <laughs> Say what you said again real quick. I wanted to finish it up. You said the man, uh, they have this view set of the woman that want to go 50-50, but then you said something else. No, like, I've heard um, foreigner men, like, talk okay, about how foreigner. American men 
you know, they want to go 50-50 with the woman, and they don't really believe in that. You know, they believe in, like, the traditional man. Like okay, the that's what I want to say. The, yeah, I got yeah. it. I, my bad. I got it. I lost mm -hmm. my train of thought right there. So, yeah, okay. so over here is a little bit different because we have uh, uh, women aren't traditional, right? So then it's like, why should the no. man be traditional? That's where it's at. So that's the confusion. So not only was the man indoctrinated to have these beliefs that, oh, yeah, let's just go 50-50, but that was propagated by the feminist movement. It propagated it on a woman, yeah. which then instilled these same thoughts and these same beliefs into the man. It socially constructed their mind to believe this. But then on top of that, women aren't traditional women, right? So then the man is like, well, why should I be tra a traditional man? If you're not traditional, you're posting booty pics, you got OnlyFans, you got all of this other stuff, but you want me to, you know, protect and provide for you and pay a bulk of the bills when you got your ass, your, your booty cheeks up online? Nah. So both of y'all just not traditional. Well, well, <laughs> well this, what I'm saying is, is what I'm lost. saying is, when a woman having her ash cheeks up online, because <laughs> yeah. I don't cuss, so we put the H on it, when a woman having her booty cheeks up online, it's like, or, or just anything, when she's not being a traditional woman, the man just starts to feel like, well, why should I be a traditional man and be paying for the bulk of the bills and really asserting myself and being ambitious to provide for you when I kind of got you where you had these kids already and you maybe was doing this is like, eh, you might as well go 50-50. I mean, your cake ain't really all that sweet anyway. Mm -hmm. So because she posts up, she, <laughs> that's for like example. Oh, I'm just saying. Okay. Meaning, I'm saying that for example. That, I mean, it's always so an example. I don't know why they keep trying to get in their feelings a little bit. It's, it's all by anyway, example. Like, the whole fifty-fifty mindset, anyway. Like women empowerment, right? Oh, she, well, she could do it on her own. So think about it. If the feminist that would be screwing things up that, too. Oh, yeah, they woman empowerment, doing this she whole can get empowerment it on her own, is not just promoting this into women, but it's promoting this to men as well. Because guess what? Uh, most men are being raised by single moms, so that's single mothers instilling yeah. this into their sons. So then the sons go out saying, that, oh, my mom is doing it all. So, I mean, I get with a woman that's doing it all, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then this man has this mindset like, oh, okay, well, I'm, well, well, she, well, why would I have to do something? It's woman empowerment. She could pay 50% 50, 50 of the bills, too. So what I'm saying is the feminist movement not only indoctrinated women, but it, it indoctrinated men as well. So that's why those men are less masculine, Less assertive and less dominant. It makes him oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that yeah, makes sense I, now? yeah. And I don't, I don't yeah, like to be biased. Oh, go ahead. So I feel like you are correct because when women decided we want to be slightly equal, we want to make a little bit more, we want to do more in life, we let them know that we want to kind of be on their pace. So now they're letting us do shit. And we got to actually pick up the pace, actually go to work, also take care of the home. And they're expecting us to do so because yeah. what we can't can't forget about that. Can't forget about that. I guess that's like huh? which I got on this couch. I see y'all like. Yeah, I'm waiting for her. Go, to finish, go ahead. Uh, you got, got, Jordan, you, you seem like you had so something, and Rachel, y'all was over yeah. there moving while I was speaking. Go ahead, y'all could speak, and you don't have to agree with things I say. It's okay. What we yeah. wanted, if we're yeah. getting yeah. exactly, yeah. Yeah. We I think. Go ahead, Jordan. Yeah. I agree with some of it, but I just I don't agree with like when you say like the when women get like when a good man gets it he's like oh I just I'll take the best option that's kind of what a woman looking for too like if I have if I'm set in my life I'm not going to take like the bull crap I'm not gonna take yeah. the bullshit anymore like so, yeah. what, 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 so which part the, of like I'm saying if I'm a, a, like a high like if I'm not posting if I have my money if I can take woman. care of things I yeah. still want a man but I'm not gonna take the bullshit i need a man like i agree also yeah. like i feel like our generations don't talk it and we're talking we don't go into dating we don't boyfriend yeah. girlfriend like my thing right now is if we're gonna go on three dates if you don't decide by the third date that we're gonna be together then like what's then yeah. there's no point so some I guys social even, media uh, messed up yeah. a lot. let her finish real quick the you're playing yeah so i feel like a higher quality hey, woman they are looking for that same yeah. thing as a higher quality man so it's not like being like a feminist it's like hey step your game up yeah. with us guys we're looking for that equal no like, okay i get what you're so. saying so you're saying uh i I, I agree with your part as a classy woman mm -hmm. right that has uh uh high standards in herself mm -hmm. she's looking for a man that has high standards too mm -hmm. i get that then you said then you incorporated what you said and i agree with that usually women that's 
you know, um, if hmm. uh, she's not out there being promiscuous and she's preserving her value, then she's looking for a man that earn his value because a woman are born, women are born with their value. So their goal is to preserve their value for the right man. Hmm. Man, we're not born with any sexual value. So no, we have to not. go out there and create our value. And then, you know, we have the pick of the litter. Right. Hmm. So that's those two there. I agree with that part. But then you said it and then you put feminism on it. You said that feminism isn't. You said that feminism is pro actually promoting that in women to have women bring up their standards and then also that's what you said so i mean like but what because when we were saying like these women like we take these the women that are yeah. don't have a man that say they don't need it that they're feminists but it's not like i'm not saying they're a feminist i'm saying they hold themselves higher so they want people to come up like it's mm -hmm. not that they're I'm not saying they're well, all no, no, that's, feminists. That's, well, that's you know? all women. So I'll, I'll let you, I'll, I'll help you out. So all women are hypergamous, right? Meaning that whatever level she is on, she wants a man either on her level, but she prefer, prefers a man above her level. Above so her all level. women are yep. hypergamous no matter what social constructs because hypergamy is a biology thing. It's not a, 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 a really a, a, like a, it can't be socially constructed on you to a degree. It can, it can maybe suppress it or increase it a little bit, the hypergamous yep. natures. But um, for the most part, it's, it's just a biology. All women tend to want a leader, right? What's a leader? Characteristics traits, taller, stronger, uh, more competent um, or as competent uh, and, uh, you know, making just as much money, but preferably more money. Right? More. So you're looking for a superior, generally, what a woman is looking for in those aspects, Mm. Right. And I wouldn't even say that it's they need more money or anything like that. Like you can like because I know people that make more money than their significant other, their husband, and uh -huh. they're fine with it. But it's like what you have to also like, what are you also bringing table, to the table too as well? Are you doing little things like a woman's going to like make the dinners or whatever it is agreed upon that relationship? But are you going to do that little thing like putting the stuff in the laundry or maybe warming up the car like before they go to work or one random day giving flowers or something like that like it's not that you have to make more money it's not that you have to like you can be a, a not a bum on the couch necessarily but you got a a job during the winter months but not the yeah. summer so if as that's long as you're bringing your if that's the case table. if if you're saying you know and you're speaking from like a general standpoint right if generally if women tend to not really care about the money then why most of the the uh, uh 50 they care of about it in divorce 80 percent of women initiate those divorces mm. and it goes up to 90 uh 70 percent like 75 percent of initiate divorce then it goes up to around like 90 percent when it when a woman has a college degree so that means that oh, Lord, women sound like a dude i know yeah that means that <laughs> women when they um, i mean are making on. more money I mean, if it, I mean, if the shoe fits, you know, the shoe fits. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, these are stats. These are the statistics that have been been proven out there. Then I did a, a survey on all this stuff, and that that's pretty much what's going to happen. And I mean, I stand on it to some degree because it makes sense. It makes perfectly sense about why things are going. You know, why things are the way it is. And you know, some some females need to take heed of that. You know, you need to take heed of that whole situation. You know about what's going on instead of them sitting out here making it seem like it's all about you know all about them and everything. They need to look at the whole big picture. You know, so I don't know. That makes crazy and everything like that because it really yeah, she, i can see right now she's basically gonna fly off the handle and everything like that i ain't nobody gonna sit here for that because that mess is crazy like she just don't need to be no no need to no need for 